Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to do the isometric view of a given object. Here the given question is, draw the isometric view of an object from given front view and top view. Here two views are given, the object, how the object is looking like in the front view, how the object is looking from the top. So two views are given, by using these two views we have to do the isometric view. Isometric view means it is a three dimensional diagram. Here the front view and top view they have given here. It is a front view, they have mentioned. It is a top view. Okay, the dimensions are like this. Okay, and here units are not given. Consider all units in mm, that is in millimeters. For doing the isometric view by using the front view and top view, initially take the front view. You need to take the initial point, either this point or this point. Here I am taking this is this is the initial point. Mark that point here. Okay, at any place. Do some gap so that the, the entire diagram should come. Okay, here I am taking the initial point, this point. At this point, just do one horizontal line of some length. Take this is the reference line. Okay. Now here do the horizontal line like this. Okay. At this point. Now here at this point take lines which are tilting 30 degrees. So this side 30. This side 30. Okay. Join these two points to this point. Take join this point to this point of some length. Do like this. Okay, this is 30, this is 30. At this point, at one of the line, take the front view width. How much width it is? So it has given here. Okay, this width, the same projectile lines we are taking, 65. Okay, mark 65 this side. By using the scale or by using compass, you can mark that length, 6.5 centimeters. Okay, make this length is dark color. So at the initial point, after marking this width, here one vertical line is there. How much it is? 15 mm. That is 1.5 centimeter. Take this is a reference line by using the roller scale. So move the scale here up to this point. Just do the line of some length. Okay. On it mark 1.5 centimeters. At this point, we took this vertical line as it is. And this horizontal length I took on the 30 degrees line. Okay. Now at 65 mm again here one height is there how much it is 4.5 centimeters so vertical lines are coming as it is in isometric view take this length take this is the reference line initially so at this point vertical line of some length on it mark this height 4.5 centimeter make it dark in the front view we are seeing this l shape okay how much thickness it is this value has given here 1.5 centimeter okay it is a horizontal length but here horizontal lines are tilting 30 degrees here do the line parallel to this take this line as a reference line move the scale here at this point do the line of some length on it mark 1.5 centimeters so 1.5 make it dark remove the extra lines after getting the thickness here at this point do the vertical line here Okay, of some length. Here take, this is a reference line. Vertical lines are as it is. Take this is a reference here. Do one line of some length. After 15, here also do the line of some length. This line is parallel to this. Here also we are getting one line parallel to 30 degrees. Here take this is a reference line. Move the scale up to this point. This is a front view okay of l shape now after that here hidden lines are there okay so it will show the hidden hole will be there in this l shape okay initially we will do the top view after that we will see the hidden part in it after getting the front view of l shape do the top view in the top view the l shape is looking like box okay here one box okay so box dimensions are 65 mm by 40 mm okay already one side dimension we have marked as 65 the another side is it is looking like 40 so this width is 40 and here also this is 40 okay here there is no material whatever l shape is there here the remaining part also l shape okay the width of the l shape is 40 so mark this dimension 40 on the other side of the 30 degrees line so take end point make it dark here here at this corner also do the line of 40 mm at this point also do the line so on it mark 40. Okay. Close it here. 
take this is the vertical reference line join these two ends remove this extra line now this is a entire l shape it, here no material okay that's why make like l shape only okay now here also take 40 mm line take this is the reference line move the scale here do the line on it take 40 mm make it dark if you see from top we are seeing this width okay 15 mm width okay it is throughout 40 mm okay here also at this point also take 40 mm line just do one parallel line here at this corner on it mark 4 centimeters now join this point to this point okay we, we are seeing this width here in the top after that we have to close this part so we have to close not by joining this point to this point here there is no material it is looking like l shape only okay just drop one line here also for making this is also l shape okay all vertical lines do as it is here one vertical line of some length and here at this point do the line parallel to this this is a reference line move the scale so at this point do the line of some length the line up to intersection point so here we did the l shape okay here join this point to this this point for getting the l shape so in the front view we are seeing this l shape in the top view we are seeing this thickness okay this thickness after that we are seeing this box also okay what are the dimensions of this box 30 mm by 20 mm okay in the front view it is a dotted line okay dotted means hidden part hidden part will show the holes inside this l shape whatever we are seeing this box it is a hole in the in this l shape so for marking it from this point it is 10 mm distance so from this point it is 10 mm distance okay so mark one centimeter one point here at this point just do the line parallel to this okay light color line light color line we have to do like this okay on this line we have to mark 20 mm okay now here this dimension has not given take at the middle of this 40 this box will be there okay at the middle means this is 40 at the middle means 20 okay take middle of this 40 mm okay so this is a middle line here mark this width this side 10 mm this side 10 mm for the middle line okay so here 1 centimeter here 1 centimeter already we have marked the middle point so here for the middle point I am taking this side 1 centimeter and this side 1 centimeter total 2 centimeter or 20 mm okay so at these points do the lines okay so take this is the reference line at this point do one line and at this point do one line okay and we did these lines how much width it is 30 mm okay from this intersection point from this intersection point take 30 mm this point intersection point take 30 now make this is dark color now in the top view we can see this 30 mm by 20 mm hole okay this whole height is entire this thickness okay in this 15 mm at this point take the thickness of the hole 1.5 centimeter take this is the reference line here and uh, at this point do the vertical line on it take 1.5 centimeter okay now here do the line parallel to this now here at this corner do the line parallel to this remove the extra lines here mark all given dimension this width is 65 mm here dimensional line is always remember parallel to the main line and 40 mm this side and this height is here 
and this thickness is 15 mm and the whole dimensions are 30 mm by 20 mm here take 30 mm line here take 20 mm line this gap is 10 mm okay from one of the corner here mark the arrows outside here mark 10 mm okay here small gap is there we can't keep arrows as well as number that's why mark outside the line arrows and then at the middle of the line mark 10 okay here always remember vertical lines are coming in isometric view as it is okay whatever horizontal lines here those are tilting 30 degrees either in this direction or in this direction okay so no horizontal lines in it all lines are tilting 30 degrees so this is a isometric view for the given this front view on top view in the sheet no need to do the front view on top view just do the isometric view directly do this entire diagram with pencil only if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching